In question 4, we're looking at a collision between vehicles X and Y. We're told the momentum of vehicle X and the momentum of vehicle Y in the question. We're also told that after the collision, the vehicles travel in opposite directions. Let's look at the momentum before they collide then. The momentum is given by adding the two momentums together. So that's 20, take away 12, which is the momentum for y. And the reason that we take away the 12, remember, is that momentum is a vector quantity. So when they're traveling in opposite directions, one of them must be negative. And we find that the total momentum before the collision is 8 kilogram meters per second. Let's look now at the motion of the vehicles after the collision. The question says they travel in opposite directions. So we have momentum Px, which is now heading left, and momentum Py for vehicle Y, which is now heading right. And the question gives us the magnitude, that's the size of Px as 2 kilogram meters per second. We actually know that as it's changed its direction, its momentum will now be negative. So what we have to do now is apply the principle of conservation of momentum. And that tells us that in the absence of any external force, the total momentum before a collision is equal to the total momentum after a collision. And substituting in some values, total momentum before we know is plus 8 kilogram meters per second. And the total momentum after, well, we're going to have minus 2 for Px and we're going to have some value for Py. We can rearrange this equation to solve for Py. We find that Py is equal to 8 plus 2 and so Py is t plus 10 kilogram meters per second. Now if we look at the options available to us, we find that the answer is C.